Hello everyone, welcome to this session on mean stack versus mon stack. I'm pretty sure everyone of you understands what a full stack development is. Full stack development basically means when you know everything about website development, be it front end, the back end, or even the middleware, right? And you can work on a lot of technologies to accomplish this. The example in this session we are going to take off is the mean stack and the mern stack. So what are these two stacks exactly is something that we're going to cover in this session and also the differences between the two. But before we move on guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the IntelliPath channel and also click on that bell icon to never miss out on any updates from us. So now let's go ahead and get started with the agenda. All right guys, so first we'll explain you guys what is full stack development and then move on to discuss what are technology stacks and then followed by the web different web technology stacks that are used in the world today after that we'll be talking about what is mean stack specifically and then talk about what is mern stack and once we're done with that finally we will be discussing the differences between the two that is the difference between a mean stack and a mern stack application so let's go ahead and get started with this session so coming to the first point uh, on this comparison between mean stack and the mern stack let us take things slow and dial it down a bit and start from the beginning guys so uh, let us take a quick introduction to full stack development i am sure if you're on this video you already know what full stack development is right but then let's just put it out in the most simple way possible see full stack development involves both development of the front end the back end as well as database handling right so front end uh, deals with all the elements you see on a website or a web application the aesthetics the design the theme etc the back end involves working with data making sure your front end can talk to the database directly and of course the database involves uh, storing the data maintaining the data uh, you know making sure uh, security is there as well and a lot of things that are involved with full stack development right but then you do have to know that when we talk about web development in general or full stack development in specific it is one of the most versatile development fields to be involved in today so why do i say this because one it is among the top 10 careers uh, you know for this decade and pr pretty much the next decade as well right so there's hundreds of thousands of companies in the world and every one of them either want a web app or a website so, so the requirement for web developers are always there and one very important thing is that full stack developers have the capability to switch roles as and when the requirement calls for it so one you might be working on the front end the other day you can be working on integrating the same uh, back into the front end right that's complementary to the second point as well so where we talk about complete ownership of the design since you'll be the person who has designed the front end, the person who has worked on the back end and probably a little bit on the database as well, you have complete authority to know what is going on in your project. So this way, uh, you know, you can do all the changes that's required, flexibility in terms of upgrades, of course, because you own it, right? So in and out, you know what's going on there. So all of these is completely applicable to full stack development. And since you know what's going on from in the front end and the back end, so basically the entire vertical structure of the entire web application you will have an access to uh, you know any level that you require at any level of abstraction in fact where you can work with any changes debug and you know if in case even if you are working on certain updates as well right so it's going to add a lot of value there too now, since we're talking about the mean stack and the mern stack, well, let us take an understanding of what a technology stack actually is. Guys, it's very simple. As the name suggests, a technology stack is basically a combination of technologies, a combination of applications, tools, techniques, and methodologies that we eventually use to build a web application or a mobile application. See, so in this stack that we call, there's more than a variety of softwares there. We have a variety of programming languages, development frameworks we have support libraries uh, user interface user experience development tools and we have a lot of other software which uh, you know which also involve talking with all the uh, stuff that I just mentioned, you know, you can have softwares which pick up things from your programming language and, uh, you know, work with a framework. It can use all the libraries as well. So there's a lot of things that happen, uh, uh, you know, in a technology stack. So to understand this better, you know, uh, we have the mean and the mern stack to be one of these uh, tech stacks that have taken the world by a storm right now. Whenever you talk to a full stack developer or whenever you talk to a person uh, who's looking to, uh, you know, add some meaning in the world of web development, you are very sure that they will know something about mean or mern stack. So uh, mean and mern, right? So they're both acronyms. 
Mean involves working with four technologies, one's MongoDB, there's ExpressJS, AngularJS and Node.js and Mern is a little different. Instead of AngularJS, we make use of ReactJS, right? So this overall, right, mean stack, Mern stack, a lot of other stacks as well. So all of these are adding nothing but immense amount of value to the world of web development. It's opening doors uh, that we thought uh, it's very difficult to open and you're going to see why, uh, you know, when we actually go on to compare and when I'm going to help you on how to choose uh, between one or the other as well. See enough, coming to the mean stack, uh, mean stack involves working with uh, Mongo, Express, Angular and Node as I just told you. So Mongo is basically used to handle all your NoSQL databases and eventually the data gets stored as JSON files and this is eventually used to talk to the backend and work with it, right? So where does the backend function? So what, what application are we using to, uh, you know, run the backend off, right? Express.js. So Express.js is used for the creation of backend web applications where, you know, we're running it. So we're running Express on top of Node.js actually and then getting the work done. So coming to Angular, Angular is a front-end framework. It's used to run the JavaScript in the client's browser, right? So when you're working with a majority of JavaScript, uh, you know, tools, frameworks, libraries, and flavors, you have to understand that be it Angular, be it Node, be it Express, uh, you do have to have an understanding of JavaScript, right? Because even when you're talking about Node as well, right? So Node provides the runtime environment where we can implement the actual uh, application backend. And again, this happens in JavaScript too. Coming to Merge stack, you will see that uh, Mongo, Express and Node remain the same. But then when we talk about React, right? So React is again a wonderful library. It's pro probably the most popular JavaScript library of today, right? So what do you guys think? What do you think is the most popular uh, uh, JavaScript library? Head to the comment section and let us know. Anyway, coming back. Now with React, it's, it's a very important thing that you understand it's a front-end library, but then there's many more things to React than what it uh, offers out of the boxes. But again, we're gonna check out all of these, but at this point, of time you need to know that we use uh, react for for ui development and front-end development as well now coming directly to the comparison between mean stack and mern stack the first point we're gonna have to check is popularity uh you know popularity is very important to check because uh, this eventually drives the jobs this drives the trend and you will understand even if you're a person who's looking to hire mean and mern stack developers you will know what uh, is trending, what is better to use, what what saves your time and money and all of that, right? So talking about the general sense of uh, popularity with mean stack development, what usually happens is it's been extremely popular because of one framework, which is Angular. So Angular is this all-in-one framework that can do a lot of things. And uh, to the mean stack, the A part, the Angular part, it has added nothing but immense amount of, uh, you know, benefit to the stack, guys. Now, if you have to talk about Mern, right? So Mern is like the new guy around the block because react has been seen to work very well with uh, be it mongo be it express be it node wherein uh, react is getting so popular uh, you know be it the developers be it because of simple documentation or whatever it is uh, react has gained a lot of quick traction uh, if i have to put it to words when you compare it directly to angular if you're wondering why the next couple of points will actually answer that Here's why, uh, you know, Mern can be a little better than Mean. So with Mean Stack, right, both Mean and Mern, whatever tools we're using out here, all of these are open source, guys. That's one very important thing we have to discuss. And after which, uh, you know, once you know, you understand that, you'll, of course, whenever you begin to learn these, right, you might be a beginner, you might be a person who's jumping in from another, uh, let's say, technology and whatnot. It is very important that you have certain documentation to begin with. Now, in terms of documentation, both have really nice, uh, very good, concise amount of documentation that come with the website itself. But how easy is it to pick up on these documentation? Because at the end of the day, if you have to ask 10 web developers, there's a very good chance eight on 10 of them will say React is very easy to learn when compared to Angular, right? So in fact, there were a lot of surveys run and the result of the survey is that uh, there is a huge majority of people that say React has been very, very easy to learn and cope up for beginners for intermediate users when you compare to Angular because there's a lot of things you have to learn about Angular since it's like an all-in-one go-to package. So Mern being the uh, easier one to use, what offers better productivity? Because in an environment, you as a person who's hiring people or you as a person who's willing to learn these stacks, when we talk about productivity, right, here's where mean stack wins. Because 
Angular offers a lot of things, right? It's a complete framework. Uh, you know, they give you command line interface. They give you so many things that makes your job as a developer very easy. And this for your employer means it will save a lot of time. It will save a lot of money. It will save a lot of effort as well, right? So in terms of productivity, MeanStack definitely offers better productivity. See, we cannot say MeanStack offers very uh, huge amount of deficit in terms of productivity because here it is productive enough, but then it's a slight slightly less productive because when you're working with react it involves working with a lot of third party libraries because react is not a complete framework right so you have to learn those third party libraries make sure to understand how you can work with them how react works with these libraries learn it on your own using third party documentation and eventually get started with all of these uh, well you already lost a lot of time right so this is very very important in terms of productivity for you as a learner and you as a person who wants to build a career and in fact, uh, you know, you as a person who's already begun working on these stacks as well. And then when you have to talk about job openings, right? Job openings is very important right now. Both MeanStack and MeanStack has amazing visibility across the world because the world requires a lot of these developers. With MeanStack is that yes, the attention is very good. The global market is amazing. But since React is the new bad boy in town, if I have to, uh, you know, put it into these informal terms, well, uh, you will find a lot of people hiring for Mern MeanStack developers right now because React offers something called as React Native, where, uh, you know, React Native is where we're trying to create native web applications as well, right? So it's popularity, it's simplicity, it's easier to learn. And uh, you know, apart from productivity until now, all the four points that we have checked out is making me lean towards Mern stack development, right? I mean, of course, I've worked on both Angular and React a, quer a quite amount of bit. And if I have to really prefer one or the other, it's, it's trust me, it's harder uh, than it looks. But then of course, considering how the market is shifting, considering how developers are moving with the trend and understanding the easiest way to get things done well guys i think mern stack is what i have to pick now we'll have a question saying hey, okay you know how do i choose right it's very difficult to go on to choose something i have four points that might help you choose better see one is the project size depending on you as a learner or let's say you've picked up a certification program or you're at your job right now where you're using uh, any one of these stacks to get get a problem solved if your project size is very, very big, right? Uh, an advantage with React is that it has only unidirectional data binding. This will help you execute your projects a lot faster because you understand your data pipelines, you understand the movement of data from one point to the other. So there's no crosstalk, there's no confusion, especially uh, this happens in large projects, right? So React will offer you a better chance at good organization and easy data usage and access with uh, when you're working with large projects. If your project is small, then of course, Angular will fit it better it's an all-in-one framework it can uh, you know if you put in the right amount of time if you put in the uh hours that's required to thoroughly master angular then if, uh, even for a smaller project you can drive it to goals faster uh, and eventually you know you can have a lot of productivity in uh, the case of angular as well now, if you're talking about experience, right? So if you have a workforce who are highly experienced or very experienced people, seniority people, uh, this is where, uh, you know, mean stack can fit effectively well for you because you will not directly re uh, depend on any sort of documentation, any sort of training since the team is already experienced, right? So in that case, it means that they already know a complex framework such as Angular. So you will not really require any supporting documentation and mean will work well, be it a medium sized project or in fact, a large project as we just checked in the previous point now if you're talking about if your workforce is either let's say freshers or people who are have experience i don't know maybe for less than uh, three years four years or so working on web development then mern stack will be a better option because react is that much quicker for you guys to train people on to make sure you you yourself learn and pick up on and eventually implement it in your job as well Coming to productivity, yeah, Angular is the complete framework. Uh, it'll be very pop. It'll be very productive in terms of uh, developer workability because uh, uh, you know since it's a complete framework, you really don't have to look anywhere else to do a lot of tasks. Angular can do it all, is what I have to say. But then when you talk about React, right? So let's say you have an upgradation going on in your project, you have to write code again with React. Since we'll be using a lot of third-party libraries, uh, writing this code itself can become a little complicated. Then of course 
testing it can be another bigger problems and think about bigger projects right? so that's why my point one was to tell you guys to pick up uh, that if, if you have a small project now if you have a big project with react it might lead to a big headache uh, you know if i have to say it out like that so coming to the last point right it's all about performance uh, for you as a learner for you as a person who's willing to hire people for uh, developing your website or let's say you as a person moving from a different technology guys performance is number one whenever you think about any information technology concept right here is where react has a slight edge over angular react makes use of what we call as the virtual dom the document object model and uh, through this the sheer performance that react offers is unbeaten guys so that's why you know this this could be one of the reasons why react is very popular as well right so think about making your website lightning fast without having to put a lot of effort into it think about creating a very elegant uh, web application without having to put much effort into thinking about how to design it uh, you know what goes on in it because with react it's all really simple to go on to work with and you know work with mongo and of course uh, work with express work with node as well right so the cross talk between react and all of these languages is amazing and you can work with it at ease guys so at the end of it what do you guys think what do you think is the right stack for you is it the mean stack or is it the mern stack head to the comment section and let us know i'll see you on the next one